The orphanage takes in all manner of species, no matter what shape or size, and it felt truly enchanting to be hidden away with all these wonderful creatures, like this baby sloth. There you go, John. Suck on that one there. There you go. But the sanctuary receives little funding, and being isolated from Iquitos means vets are few and far between. With this in mind, I didn't need any encouragement to get on with the job. Gudrun led me over to my next patient, a scarlet macaw called Susanna. She's in a good place, as long as she doesn't see me because she probably knows what's going on now. Yeah, my dear, I know you will hate that, but I've got to do... It's okay. Stop hit me. Right. I'm all right, but this one will try to defend her. Hey, right. yeah. Great job. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Ow! Hey, hey, hey. They are defending the other. Yeah, okay. It's like the birds. Maybe we should go somewhere else. Let's, we're out of range. Let, out of range. Let's go. Else. Let's go somewhere a little quieter. <laughs> Here, I think we're fine, if it's fine here. Okay. The monkeys are here, the others won't come. Okay, great. Good girl, it's all right. Shh, 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 shh. Now, this is horrible, isn't it? Yeah, it looks horrible. I mean, it seems not to affect her so much, because she even flies with it, but... It's a nasty infection that's just formed a big abscess, and it's a tiny bit ulcerated at the end. The worry is that it will continue to grow, and then she'll self-traumatise and she'll start biting it and pecking it. Um, I think we can just nip that off. Yeah, I think that's going to be fine. Yeah. Hold. No, oh, no, oh, no, 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 there you go. My, right. my workers are all somewhere. Where we need are. to go somewhere away from monkeys and away from other monkeys. Maybe macaws. inside the hut. Inside the hut, yes. Well, we can't go by the lake. There's an alligator in there. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, my friend, you're lovely. You're lovely. But I do have to do this, okay? Sorry to be a little short with you. All right. Despite my offering of peace, the monkeys weren't having any of it. Instruments are quite temptation. Don't say go under. Oh, dear. No, 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 no. No, he's not gonna. If it's not fall, don't worry, he'll let it fall. It is fall. He understands it's simple. No. Finally, with the troublemakers at a safe distance, I could start work on the infected growth. So there's a bit of blood, and this is key. I've got to get on top of this fast. The risk with macaws is they don't actually have a huge amount of blood. How did she get this, do you think? Ah, one of the monkeys loves to pull their feathers out. Oh, like that one there was trying to howl and was trying to tug its tail. I would imagine where the monkey had grabbed her feathers, grabbed her wing and pulled the feathers out, it had tug it, snapped it off. An infection got in right at the root of where the feathers grow. And that's why you've got a big infected mass. There's a cystic cap to that. When we cut into this, it's going to be full of pus, horrible mm -hmm. pus that no antibiotics really going to touch. But as I began to stitch up Susanna, my hairy apprentice returned for a quick lesson. Bye, Maria. Yeah, she's looking really carefully here. Yeah, and this is how so you... You have to do a good job. Yeah, I'm just showing you <laughs> how to do this, eh? I mean, it is the only monkey time. can do it. <laughs> how, do, how do you think I manage, eh? <laughs> Gudrun, can you see that? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. so I've sealed the suture line just with a bit of glue, just so that if... They do just decide to have a little nibble. It just offers it Doesn't a little more protection. Oh. Yeah, okay. Great, well that went really well, especially considering we have monkeys jumping all over us, which is, to say the least, extremely bizarre. But it was good, the bird's gonna be fine. Let's have a look at this mass. Just over here, the light's a bit better. You should be able to see it okay. So if I just cut over that there. Oh, fantastic, look at that. Horrible, infected material. So there's no way that poor bird could just keep on with all of that just hanging on. But all of this tells me it's a chronic infection. There's no tumour there. So it bodes well for a speedy recovery. That is, if we could find somewhere safe away from the monkeys. The anaesthetic would take a little while to wear off. And so wrapping Susanna nice and warm in a blanket 
we left her to recover in peace. It's monkey proof in here, isn't it? Otherwise you'd wake up bald, wouldn't you, girl, eh? Hey?